Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip. It's Thursday. It's December. It is the 19th. See, I got it all right today. But yes, I got it all wrong. I'm in a hotel in London. I'm not going to lie. I'm an absolute mess. And my good lady is looking after me. Morning. There, see, see. People who think she doesn't exist. Uh, a day with Chrissy spreadsheets and Sugsy. And I'm a shambles. I'm an absolute shambles. Um... What did we find out yesterday? We discovered that basically Boris can do anything over the next five years and Suggsy will still vote for him. So he could line people up in the streets and shoot them. Suggsy will still go, Boris is the boy. Um, Chrissy spreadsheets like some rum and coke. Uh, Chris Jones. Chris Jones, for those of you who don't know, Chrissy keeps himself quiet on Twitter. Lovely, lovely lad. But Chris was one of the first ever FTS members. He was certainly in the first 10 or 15 people that joined FTS in 2007. I met him without him knowing across a poker table in Vegas. He didn't know it was me. I didn't know it was him. And I rinsed him. I'll tell that story one day. Rinsed him of all his cash. He was only 18 at the time. Um, but Chris came yesterday up for a, a drink in town and he, um, he almost had me in tears. He said, Chris has built his own house. He's got loads of money in the bank. He's got a nice family now, two kids. He's been Australia, New Zealand on 10, 15, 20 grand holidays. He makes five figures a month, every month. And he, he said, Ian, if I hadn't met you, none of this would have happened. And it got me all a little bit emotional. Um, and when people say, why do you do it? That's why you do it for people like Chris, who has gone on and become a good friend, a success in his own right. If I dropped dead tomorrow, he could carry on and do whatever. But to know that he got started earning a good few quid um, by meeting me, even though I rinsed him at poker, um, was lovely. But I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit of a shambles today. Um, right, what have I got? I've got nothing other than one Polish game. Graham Eakins, work on your Polish flipping pronunciation. I don't know what that game's all about. Uh I don't even know what those how you pronounce that team. It's um, Lech Poznan versus Arka Gdynia. There, go on, Graham, get your flipping Polish translation book out. Lech Poznan, Arka, what are they? Arka Gdynia. G G oh, who knows? Lech Poznan game at seven thirty. There you go. Keep it simple. Uh, over one and a half goals. So if it's nil nil after twenty minutes, then back over one and a half goals. Drip it in. And it will win. Um, and all I would do is remove your liability if there's one the goal goes in. Whatever. Um, I'm out with the racing boys today. So um, I'm out with all the old hot shots and form readers and big boys on the racing. So have a lovely day. I'm going to be another mess tonight. Um, who knows what numbers will come up on the ultimate sheets tomorrow. Anything could happen. Um, no, but I'll be uh, back home tomorrow and everything will be... Um, processed as normal have a lovely it's christmas isn't it? have a lovely what is it thursday have a lovely thursday nearly did it again have a lovely thursday and i'll be back with you in the morning